Yo, what's up guys, Sejiko Golden here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with the new Evolution Mega Knight, which just got released today. There's two different ways you can unlock the Mega Knight. There's a free way with this event where you need to earn crowns every day during a total of 10 days. And of course, with six Evo Shards, you can already unlock the new Evolution. So that's kind of like the free-to-play way, the best way without spending money. But there's also an offer which I ended up buying to be able to already make today's video for you guys, which you guys can see here launch offer and it gives you directly the six evo shards to be able to already play with the mega knight evolution and also an exclusive emote so that's pretty cool i guess if you guys do wanna or if you guys are gonna end up buying the emote and you do want to support me you can use creative code surgical goblin while doing so and i would really appreciate it but anyways we're gonna be playing with the mega knight evolution on top later i'm gonna be playing with this uh Ren Rider deck which in my opinion is probably the best deck with the Mega Knight Evolution right now. I feel like Mega Knight Miner in the current meta hasn't really been that strong. And in general, I haven't really seen any other, any other Mega Knight decks do well. I guess we can try out some different versions as well. Maybe like Mega Knight Spam. Maybe some other Mega Knight decks. Let me know in the comments section below if you guys have a deck. Which I should be trying out with the Mega Knight Evolution. But I feel like in general, this deck is definitely yeah, the strongest, the most solid version at the moment. Okay, so let's see what version or what deck we're going to be facing. Looks like he has Ice Wizard, he has a Mortar. Going to be yeah, interesting to see what he has. I think I'm going to Fisherman this Wizard right away to see if he's going to drop something else. Maybe like a tank or something. And in the meantime, we could prepare. Okay, I'm actually going to go for a Ram Rider here. I think it's a pretty good moment to go Ram Rider. Fisherman is still alive. The Phoenix is still alive as well. Ram Rider is going to tank for both of them. And we're going to get a pretty um, yeah, decent amount of damage with the Ram Rider charge on the right side tower. Okay, I'm actually going to go Mega Knight in the back. I feel like he spent quite a lot of Elixir in that situation. So I think a good situation to go or a good moment to go with the Mega Knight. And let's see what he's going to do to defend it afterwards. We do need to be careful because I'm pretty sure he is going to be running a Tornado. So he might try to activate the King Tower somehow here. Not sure if he's going to try. Yeah, I think he's going to try and NATO it maybe. Or what is he going to do? Okay, looks like he does go with a NATO. Very nice play by him. That's a really uh, yeah, solid King Tower activation. But I think we might be able to punish him for doing so. Let's see if we can maybe get a Ram Rider down. And then somehow get the, the Ram Rider to lock onto the tower. But he does have the yeah, he does have the, the cannon here. He does have a pretty quick cycle as well. So I'm not sure if this is even worth it. But I guess we can go with a Zep. Trying to, to get the Ram Rider to kill the Mortar even quicker. And then at least we don't need to overspend on defense. So overall situation, I would say pretty good. Even though he did activate the King Tower there with a um, yeah, very nice Tornado plus Skeletons combo. I think it's still a, a pretty good situation for us. And I'm wondering what spell he's running. But I'm assuming it's going to be um, Rocket. Could be something else as well. But after seeing yeah, his kind of stealth, the deck, how it's built. I guess it should be something like Rocket. So let's go with a Phoenix here in the back. I guess I'm going to wait a little bit to see if he does go with a Rocket. Is he going to go with something else? Looks like he does indeed go with a rocket so that was kind of yeah me not necessarily baiting the rocket because it was still a decent rocket taking care of the phoenix but i just wanted to make sure is it rocket or what are you running looks like it is indeed gonna be rocket so let's go with a fisherman here i'm gonna go void spell um like this on the mortar to try and dps down the mortar as soon as possible and even though the mortar gets like one or two shots on the tower i think it should be yeah decently fine for us so let's go with a phoenix here i'm gonna go with a rembrandt as well look at the evil mega knight throwing the troops backwards but the mega knight is gonna end up dying pretty fast and he has a very defensive deck so i'm not sure if this is a, a great matchup for us but so far we are in the damage lead and so far we're doing a pretty good job at defending the mortar so let's go with the mega knight once again in the back i hardly doubt or how do you say that that he's gonna go with a rocket on the mega knight i don't think that will be the best play and let's go in the meantime with a, a void spell to take down his mega minion okay let's go with a fisherman here as well i'm gonna go with a phoenix in the middle towards his mortar i'm just gonna wait a little bit to see what he's gonna do is he gonna try and rocket is he gonna try okay he's gonna try and defend without the rocket that's good for us we can go with the evil zap here we can go with the e-spirit here to take care of the evil skeletons but the evil skeletons are still stacking up still alive but i think it's fine we should be able to defend this without um, yeah, too much problem. He does have the Mega Knight. Watch out with a Nado backwards. Let's go with a Fisherman here. He does call a good game. I don't know why he called good game. Did he think that he was going to win there with the Evil Mortar? Or what was his um, yeah, thought process behind that good game? I'm not really sure to be honest. But let's go with a Void Spell here. Evil Mega Knight in the meantime is doing a good job at distracting everything. Evil Mortar is going to go down. Evil Mega Knight is going to go down as well. But it definitely got a lot of value. And I think overall situation is still decent for us. But I'm worried about the Rocket Cycle. I feel like the Rocket Cycle can definitely hurt us a lot. Let's go with a Mega Knight here last second. Let's go with a Fisherman to try and pull a potential Knight. Looks like he does go with Knight. Looks like instead he goes with Skeletons. And let's here go with a Ram Rider. Okay, let's go with a Phoenix up high as well. It's definitely, um, yeah, looking 
good for us right now. Let's go with the East Spirit here as well. Let's go with the Sepp High. And as soon as I can, I'm gonna go with the with the evil Mega Knight here. Okay, let's just pressure as much as possible. Why do I wanna pressure as much as possible? In the rim, right? He even gets a connection. But why do I wanna pressure as much as possible? Because he has a rocket, he has a quick cycle. I do not want to allow him to get to the tower with the rocket cycles, and instead he's not even able to defend it. As soon as we hit triple elixir, it was way better for us. So as you guys can see, we are gonna secure the first victory of today's video. See you guys soon with game number two. Very nice win there against that Mortar Cycle deck. Let's see what we're going to be facing here. Looks like we're up against this guy called Underdead. And he starts BMing us right away. Okay. Um, I guess I'm just going to mute him. I don't really want to, um, how do you say, like see his emotes. And I'm going to cycle a Fisherman here in front of the E-Spirit. Because I don't really want him to, to activate the King Tower that easily. So it looks like it's going to be Sparky. Okay. Sparky should be an interesting matchup. We do have the Zap. We do have the Electro Spirit, but we always need to be careful because Sparky normally does have a really good, um, how do you say, like support cards, like for example, Mini P.E.K.K.A., like for example, um, I don't know, like Rage Spell, stuff like that. So we always need to be very careful when going uh, up against Sparky. Okay, I'm gonna go Mega Knight a little bit higher. Why do I go in that position? I just don't want to make sure, I just want to make sure that the, the Ghost is not gonna get splashed while well, the Sparky was gonna hit the Mega Knight. And then here we have a pretty decent counter push. He also has the Electro Wizard, but he did just spend a lot of Elixir. I think we can go in for the Rambrider, knowing that the Spark is out of cycle, knowing that the Electro Wizard is out of cycle. And looks like he's not gonna... Wait, what? Does he not have anything in cycle? My friend? Wait, did he just give up or did he... What is happening? Ah, he just went with the Dark Prince in the back. I'm not sure if there was lag or connection or what just happened to this guy, but that was gonna be... Or that is gonna be... Tower down for us already, and I guess I will take that, but that was definitely kind of um, a strange situation. Okay, so he does have the evil Goblin Giant. I think I'm going to go Fisherman here. I'm going to go with Phoenix, and I'm going to go with Ghost as soon as possible. It's probably going to be Tower down or close to Tower down, but that's probably the best defense we could do in that situation, especially not having enough Elixir, or well, actually not in Cycle, the Mega Knight Evolution. So um, I guess it's going to be pretty much Tower for Tower. We did end up taking a Tower. He didn't end up quite taking a Tower, and I'm going to go with the Mega Knight Evolution here in the middle directly to try and see... What is he going to do? But I think that should be pretty um, yeah, good for us. Mega Knight in the meantime is getting a lot of value, dealing a lot of damage to the E-Barbs. Looks like he also um, yeah, gets a, bit, a decent amount of damage against the Dark Prince. And the E-Barbs are not even going to yeah, have to um, be responded to. So let's go with the E-Spirit here. Let's have the Fisherman ready. And we got an insane amount of damage on the King Tower, by the way, guys. Look at the King Tower down to 3,211 um, HP. So let's cycle Fisherman. Let's cycle Phoenix. And then I think I'm going to try and pressure the three count here. But we do need to be very careful because he could potentially um, try and kite the Mega Knight. So I'm going to play the Mega Knight as much as possible towards the left, si left side. He's going to go with the Goblin Giant here. He does end up misclicking. I'm pretty sure there was a misclick on the, um, on the evil Zap. And then here I'm going to go with Void Spell. I'm going to go with the Phoenix. Look, in the meantime, the King Tower. I'm going to try and DPS down the Spark as soon as possible. Well, then afterwards dealing with the Goblin Giant. Okay, nice defense, nice situation. Look at the Ghost on the King Tower. He's going to have to defend that. If not, it's going to be so much damage. It looks like he doesn't end up defending. Looks like instead he just goes with um, Sparky in the back. Okay, is it crazy to go Mega Knight plus Rainbow towards a 3 crown? I think I'm just going to do it, guys. I don't know if it's too aggressive, but I'm going to go with the um, Mega Knight. He's probably going to go with Ewis somewhere here to try and block the Rainbow. So I'm going to go Void Spell directly to take care of that. I'm going to go with a Zep here as well. I am going to go all in, but we are going to take the trick on. I think there you go with one HP Ram Rider. We are going to end up taking the trick on here against this Sparky player. I'm going to BM him a little bit, by the way. He's still going. Man, I muted him at the start of the match and he's still sending emotes. See you guys soon with the next match. Okay, let's go, guys. Hoping we get to game number three. It looks like we're up against Rooney. Rooney is actually another Supercell content creator from Italy. Let's give him a good luck. And let's see what he's going to be running. I would like to already go with Mega Knight to start cycling towards the evolution because in some situations, the evolution is insanely strong. But at the same time, I don't really want to yeah, give him like a free activation or go, for example, Mega Knight. And he goes with Pekka. I guess we will just have to wait a little bit and see what he's uh, yeah, running. Exactly. Okay, luckily for us, I didn't go with Mega Knight. Imagine I would have went Mega Knight first play and he just responds with a P.E.K.K.A. right away. I think it's a good thing that he just used the P.E.K.K.A. Because then afterwards we can potentially um, yeah, kill it. And hopefully even get a, a Mega Knight going. Okay, looks like he does go with a Void Spell. I think I'm going to go Mega Knight up high. Even though it's kind of an awkward Mega Knight. I think it still should be fine. And he actually pulls away the Mega Knight towards the middle with a Fisherman. But the Phoenix in the meantime is going to get so much value. Oh my god, look at the Phoenix. Okay, nice. The Phoenix just got a really good amount of value. Let's go with the Fisherman here as well. I'm then going to go with the E-Spirit here off to the side to um, hopefully distract the Fisherman. And then the Fisherman of us will be able to yeah, distract the, the Mother Witch and take care of that. Okay, so this is going to be a rough one, guys. I feel like he's running Pekka Fisherman 
because he probably faced some Mega Knight evolutions already. He's gonna, um, yeah, fully counter us here. And he also has the Mega Knight. Wow, okay, he has Mega Knight and Pekka in the same deck. Wait, that's actually kind of cool. I like um, yeah, the way his deck is looking. But at the same time, I am kind of afraid because he has Cannoneer, he has Pekka, he has Mega Knight. He has a lot of really um, good answers against our deck so let's go with the evil mega knight here already let's see what he's gonna do probably just gonna go with his uh pekka right yeah he just, he's just gonna go with the pekka let's go with remrad anyways we need to somehow get some damage the pekka is gonna also or the mega knight is gonna also distract the pekka is gonna um, yeah, throw it towards the tower and almost gets the connection the good thing for us is that we have the phoenix there and the phoenix is actually amazing as a support job because most of the times it's just able to get so much damage on any troop they use to defend in this case they use a pekka we're still able to deal with the pekka very well with the phoenix so looking actually pretty good even though he has mega knight even though he has pekka even though he has fisherman we were able to get a pretty um get big connection there against his left side tower and looks like he does go with a pekka in the back so let's go with a mega knight opposite lane i feel like it's gonna be important to keep up the pressure while trying to defend as good as possible here so let's go with um i think i'm gonna go with a fisherman actually he does go with arrows so pretty good arrows from him i'm gonna cycle an e-spirit and i'm gonna go with a void spell here okay looks like he has the same idea by going void spell on top of our fisherman i'm gonna go with another phoenix up high to start defensing down the pekka and i honestly don't really know what to do in this situation he has such a um, awkward deck but at the same time, he has a really solid deck against our deck. Like, he has Pekka, he has Mega Knight, he has uh, Mother Witch. He has, yeah, really, really good answers. So, at this point, I guess I'm just going to go Mega Knight Evolution in the back same lane. I'm not sure if that's a good play. But uh, um, at this point, I'm not really sure, yeah, what to do. So, I think I'm going to go Void Spell here to try and take care of the Fisherman. I'm going to go with the Phoenix here as well. And what is even going to happen, guys? He has a Pekka here. He has a Mega Knight Evolution. We also have a Mega Knight Evolution. What is happening right now? Can someone please... Help me, because I don't even know what's going on right now. Okay, somehow our P.E.K.K.A. died, somehow our, our Mega Knight died, his P.E.K.K.A. still alive. I'm gonna go with Zap Evolution on defense, I'm gonna go with a Ghost here to try and save the tower. We are gonna kind of defend, I think, but man, what is this deck from him and what am I even supposed to do in this situation? I actually don't know, guys. I actually don't know what I what I can do here. Okay, I'm gonna go with e Spirit like this to, to make sure that the Mega Knight is gonna jump in the middle of the of the arena then i'm gonna go with my own uh mega knight here as well and he does go with a pekka okay man this is such a crazy deck from him um he doesn't even have a win condition it's just like pekka spam i'm gonna go with rembrandt here as well i think i'm just gonna let that be i think the rembrandt might be able to get a connection on left side tower and i'm gonna um, make sure that i have enough elixir to be able to defend this push but what am i supposed to do let me know in the comment section below if i should try out his deck in one of the um, yeah my future videos Looks like he does end up going with, um, I think there was a Void Prediction on the Fisherman. I'm going to go Mega Knight now. I'm going to go with a Fisherman here to pull the Mega Knight towards the middle. I'm going to go with another Phoenix. I'm going to go with a Royal Ghost. I'm doing my best to defend as good as I can, guys. I promise you. Let's go with E-Spirit. Let's go with a Mega Knight Evolution as soon as possible. And I'm then going to go with a Ram Rider here as well at the bridge whenever I have Elixir. We do have the Evil Mega Knight. We do have Phoenix alive. I think I can go with a Void Spell here on top of the Mother Witch. He does have the Evil Pekka, but hopefully we can get a Ram Rider connection. Looks like we do not get a connection. But look at the Mega Knight though. Is the Mega Knight able to? No, the Mega Knight is not able to jump. And I think that's pretty much going to be good game um, for our opponent. Unless something crazy happens here, but I don't really see... How we can get to the tower, maybe with a Mega Knight jumping on the Mother Witch, maybe then going with a Ram Rider. We can try to get something done, look at the, the Ram Rider, okay, let's let's see, let's go with a Void Spell here. Let's go with a Zep as well, making sure the Ram Rider doesn't go, end up getting a connection, but unfortunately it's not gonna be enough. Man, we did so good, honestly, considering that he had Pekka, he had um, Fisherman, he had so many good answers, he even had Mega Knight Evolution himself. I think we did a really good job here, that was a really rough matchup, see you guys soon with the next match. Okay, let's go guys, hope we get to the next match, there was a very unfortunate loss in the last match, that was so close, as I said before, even though he had um, yeah, so many good answers against our deck, Pekka, Fisherman, Cannoneer, and just in general, the Mega Knight Evolution is of course also pretty good against Mega Knight, and then we're up against another Pekka player, man, I feel like Pekka is gonna be even stronger now, because Mega Knight Evolution is definitely, yeah, really strong, but I feel like Pekka is still just a really good counter against Mega Knight, so I'm not sure how strong Mega Knight is gonna be, Especially considering the fact that, um, yeah, Pekka is still a thing, of course. Okay, let's go with Fisherman here in the middle, trying to pull the Bedram. In the meantime, the Phoenix will be able to DPS down 
the Pekka quite a bit. Mega Knight is going to jump as well. Then I'm going to try to go with um, a Ram Rider on the right side lane, knowing that we still have the Phoenix there, knowing that the Mega Knight is still alive as well. I think this should be a pretty annoying push for him to defend. I'm not sure what he has to be able to defend this, but as you guys can see, Mega Knight is able to jump. Ram Rider is also able to um, yeah, connect to the tower. Phoenix is going to revive. I'm going to go with a Ghost here as well to continue pressuring. And as you guys can see, that's going to be tower down for sure. Very aggressive Pekka from him. Um, I don't think you should be going Pekka first play in the back, my friend. Because that's, one, uh, that's what's gonna happen sometimes, not always. Sometimes I guess he does end up making good damage with the pickup first play. But in general, not really a good play, I guess. So very yeah, good start for us. We do need to be careful because, of course, even though we took down his tower, he does have Pekka. Pekka in general is really good against Mega Knight, so we need to be very careful here. Okay, let's cycle Phoenix. Looks like he does end up going with a Pekka towards the left side. Looks like he also goes with a bomber i think i'm just gonna go evil mega knight here and then i'm gonna pull it towards the middle with the fisherman mega knight even though it's gonna take a lot of damage it is gonna defend i would say decently well and then with the help of both towers we do end up taking care of the pekka um, yeah without taking too much damage so let's go with east spirit plus zap here to take care of the minions as soon as possible allowing the mega knight to jump on the left side tower allowing the mega knight to get a decent amount of damage while the fisherman is also gonna get i think it was one shot i guess any type of damage is is always worth it Okay, I'm not sure if I should be... I think I'm going to save up for Mega Knight. I'm not sure if it's the best play here. Um, but at least hopefully we can save the tower. Please tell me that we do not lose the tower. Okay, we are going to lose the tower because he does have the evil bomber. But I guess it's fine. Let's go with the Rembrandt here towards the Tricon. He's probably going to go with the P.E.K.K.A. on the left side. So it's going to be awkward for him to defend both lanes. Mega Knight is going to jump on the tower. And that's exactly why I went with Ram Rider in that position. Because as you guys can see, he wasn't really sure. Where do I place the P.E.K.K.A.? Do I place the P.E.K.K.A. on the Mega Knight? Do I place the P.E.K.K.A. on the Ram Rider? He didn't do any of it. And that actually ended up costing him the match. Or I would say pretty much the match. Unless something crazy happens here. But we have the Mega Knight Evolution available. And we can also pressure once again um, yeah, for the 3 crown with the Ram Rider. I think at this point I'm just going to go for the 3 crown. Let's go with Ram Rider here. He doesn't really have yeah, a good way of stopping the Ram Rider. I'm going to go with E-Spirit. I'm going to go with Zep. He does end up defending it. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. This match is really close, but we still need to finish it. Let's go with the Phoenix here on top of the um, left side Pekka. And I'm going to keep enough Elixir for the Mega Knight here as soon as possible. Okay, this is actually getting scary, guys. Are we going to choke this? I don't think so, right? No, I think we should be fine. We still yeah, have a really good situation overall. Let's, I think, go with the Ram Rider here as soon as possible towards the 3 crown. He does end up going with the minions. Let's go with the E-Spirit here as well. And I don't think he will be able to defend this. And even if he does end up defending, we can also potentially spell cycle him down. I have 10% battery. So I think that's going to be it for today's video. Very nice video. I had a lot of fun playing with the Mega Knight Evolution. In my opinion, it's definitely strong. But I would not say it's going to be like the best card in the game. It's definitely defendable, and as I said before, I think it's going to be very um, yeah, versatile as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe, and hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care, guys.